Hello everyone, I am the Independent Kid, and today my presentation is about the science of Pleo RB and Pleo, your robot camerasaurus pet. Before we start looking at what Pleo RB and Pleo are, let's see what a camerasaurus is. A camerasaurus was a dinosaur. The front legs were also shorter than the back legs. It was also a herbivore, which means it ate only plants. As you can see here in the picture, you will see later that the head strongly resembles that of the Pleo head. Its possible predator was the Allosaurus. This picture here is of the Allosaurus. It does look quite similar to the T-Rex, but it is a different dinosaur. Height and length. It was 23 feet tall, which is also 7 meters tall. It was also 50 to 75 feet long, or 15 to 23 meters. As you can see here in the picture, the Camerasaurus supremus is compared with a 1.8 meter long person. There's the person, and there's the dinosaur. Lifespan. It reached adulthood at 20 years, but actually died at 26 years Location. It lived in the United States of America, but to be more specific, it lived in Wyoming, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. Those are the places where the red stars are. Pictures. You can see the pictures here because you can see the camera source on the left, and then you see the camera source go in the middle, and then all the way to the right, you see another camera source. Can you see now that the head of the Pleo on bottom? Bottom on the middle strongly resembles that of the Camerasaurus. Comparing Pleo RB and Pleo. On the left, there's Pleo RB, the newer version, and on the right, there is Pleo, the original. Pleo RB. Each one is unique and handmade. You can also name him with the included ID card. Now to Pleo, the original version. All of them are the same and the battery life doesn't last as long as the Pleo RBs. There are also separate places for the micro USB card, on off button, and the battery. You can also not name Pleo with the included ID card. Inside of Pleo. You can see the insides there, but if you don't like mess, let's look at this slide. There's a head touch sensor, color camera with white light sensor, infrared transmitter, infrared receiver, and in the mouth there's an infrared interrupter, a front speaker, and even a chin touch sensor on the chin. Now on the side of the head, on both sides actually, there, there are two binaural microphones, one on each side. On the feet there are ground foot sensors, and for the battery it's an NIMH rechargeable battery. There are also tilt and shake sensors, leg touch sensors, and force feedback sensors in every single one of the 14 motors. And at the back, there's also a rear speaker and a rear touch sensor. And on the shoulders, finally, there's a shoulder touch sensor. This is the inside of Pleo RB. Life cycle of Pleo RB and Pleo. Pleo RB has four life stages, and his or her progress depends on your level of interaction. So the first stage is a newborn stage. He's basically just like a newborn Camasaurus. Well, as close as we can get, you know. So anyway, he you have to encourage him to, you know, look around and he will respond very nicely to your touch and voice if you want to talk to him. This is stage two, toddler stage. This is when he actually responds, um, you know, more to your voice and touch and will start to look around its surroundings by, by itself without you having to, you know, encourage it to look. The third stage, teenager stage, this is the time when it starts to learn walking. Now it also has the ability to learn tricks and, you know, learn things like come to me and you can even teach it its name. Now the fourth stage, the adult. He is all grown up and mature and at this time he just needs your love and care more than ever. Here's a video of Pleo RB's interactions so you can kind of see how he interacts in a video, feeding your Pleo RB. There's Pleo RB.
fast to card flea. It comes in his basic pack. You can feed him with it. He will open his mouth and put his head up. Then he will put his head down, start making an eating sound. When he's done eating, he will drop the leaf. Petting Pleo RB. He's using a chin touch sensor and um, a back touch sensor. If your play RB stops while you're playing with it, it's fine. He resumes play after two seconds or so. Unless he has received static electricity for some reason, then all you have to do is restart him by turning by pressing the off button and then the on button again to turn him on. He also loves to be carried. If he is sleepy, he will fall asleep, but even if he's not sleepy, he will still fall asleep eventually. Playing with Pleo RB. He has to be in a great mood to play, so it's recommended that you feed him first. What this what this person is feeding him there is the coffee leaf or coffee bean. That's his tug of war, so what you have to do is present it under his mouth. He'll put his mouth down, and then he'll bite down on it. And then basically just tug, tug, tug. If he loses, he gets sad, but he recovers. But if he wins, he gets really, really happy. He, yay, he won. He'll make a winning sound and then get all happy. And see, he's wiggling around. He's all happy. So that's the video and I hope it helped you learn a little bit more about his interactions and you know, kind of the way he moves. Why is science important to the making of Pleo RB? Without science, this toy would have never been made. The motors for the movement, a computer for the brain, there's coding involved too, and lots of it. Coding is mainly for the personality, behavior, responses, interactions, and life cycle. There are also material engineering. The skin is based on real dinosaur skin. There are also sensors. The sensors are to explore its environment, learn colors, eat food, and feel your touch. I made a Pleo RB game, and um, all you have to do to play the game is go to the link here. This is the Pleo RB game. You will see here that it's just basically Pac-Man with a little Pleo as a Pac-Man and um, dinosaurs for the ghosts. When you play this, to eat the dinosaurs, what you have to do is follow the path and eat the coins on the way to the cherry, which is now changed into a cycad leaf, one of Pleo RB's foods. So basically to win, you have to eat all the dinosaurs and get all the coins and cycad leaves. Thank you for watching my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you learn about Pleo RB and Pleo. See you in my next presentation. Bye.